guys and welcome to Peter Ray's Adventures. Just want to share with you a little story. Basically, a guy last night on Saturday the 9th of uh, May messaged me to say, have you got any um, more photos for these books, the Half-Blood Prints and the Deathly Hallows? I said to him, yes I have. I will, will redo the photos and send you some photos and update the listing, which I did. These are from a pile of books, I had a whole set. A guy a month ago wanted a section, um, a few books, so I did two sets of listings and these are what I had left, so the guy messaged me, said really interested in buying. It kind of got me thinking, A, where are they? And B, are these actually listed? Plus C, um, are photos any good? Because they're from this box. I pulled out quite a few listings already to sh to kind of show you, but I don't think I really would. I've actually um, looked through this box properly and checked because quite a lot of these items in this box are six months plus to two years. And I was like, oh, oh, right, right. So what I did. I pulled the box out, pulled it out, and went through it. I found this book first in there. For some reason, I couldn't find the Half Blood Prince in there. For some reason, it was in there. It was just tucked under. And I went through my eBay store, um, put my eBay name in, and went through through the store because you can't go on your store and click on the phone on the actual store name. You have to type it in there, which is annoying. Hashtag annoying. Then I went through the categories and had a look. I found a lot of items from this box, this box, that were um, either not listed or the photos were rubbish. So what I'll do, I'll put the photos in the um, video from the bad photos to the good ones as much as I can. And then I went through my store, um, all my active listings, all the way through, I've checked loads. I, I did about 85% of my photos, redid them last year. So a se certain section that were um, I left for whatever reason, as you do. Some are sold now though, but I kind of found quite a few. And there's a couple of bits that weren't even listed. For example, these Harry Potters I found. The only one that's missing is the um, Half-Blood Prince. I said to myself, I'm going to go upstairs and go to my bundle pile and find some more books. I found a Philosopher's Stone, a little bit of um, sun fading, and a Fantastic Beasts. Because I sold one very similar, complete set for 27, but it had um, a, a, another book. I'll put it in the video, but not Fantastic Beasts. These ones, like Chamber of Secrets, Your Prisoner of Azkaban, your Goblet of Fire, your Order of Phoenix, and no, it's not not a good one because it's um, second edition. No, no, just dust, dust jacket on that. The um, Deathly Hallows. And then, and then I put obviously put these two, Flush of Stone and Fantastic Beasts in, and they weren't listed. So what I kind of like to say is. Do double check if your items are listed um, on eBay because a lot of items do drop off your store quite consistently. I try and do a stock take once every month and a half to two months if I can. I've got around 260 odd listings, 260. I should have a lot, a lot more, near 300, but a lot have been selling lately. And okay, I thought fair enough, I'll um, do the photos, because I wasn't really going to do the photos then and there. I thought, nope, I'm going to do them. If I don't do them, what will happen is, it'll be left for weeks and weeks and weeks. I, I, I did them right then and there, the photos. Got me photo where you're out, done. Du -du -du -du. I was like, at one o'clock in the morning, why not? Just why not? Then I had a look through my mobile, because I've got lots of um, photos in a, a folder for eBay listings that are um, being listed and new eBay listings. So I went through and I went down because, uh, for example, these ones, Philosopher's Stone, the um, tapes, 
They're read by um, Stephen Fry. Chamber Secrets, same thing. And the uh, Prison of Azkaban. I noticed the photos were, were rubbish. So best to double check all your photos as well to make sure they're not blurry, they're in good condition. Um, you can see all the pictures. You can use up to 10. I advise using as many as possible um, with, with whatever lighting setup you've got. Some of us had a good lot of lighting setup. Some of us had only had a little bit of space here and there. And, and then I went down right at the bottom because these were listed like two years ago and they've not been, been selling. And they've just been sat and sat and sat as per. Um, the Diary of a Wimpy Kid. They were cross listed on Spock. On Spock. And I'm not selling on Spock. And I thought I had them on eBay. And I found them last week. Was it, yeah, last week in a box. I'm recording this on Sunday. And I was like to myself, oh, okay, these books. And I double checked last night. And they weren't on my store. I was like, right. But I've got the photos for them. How weird. I've, I've done some really nice, clear, light photographs. And I was like, okay, weird. Hashtag weird. But you've got quite, you've got nine. Um, Roderick Rules. The Last Straw. Dog Days. The Ugly Truth. Cabin Fever. The Third Wheel. Hard Luck and The Long Haul. There's 14 of these books you can have. There's nine there, paid, I think, between 50p and a pound each in Surbiton. And, okay, I was like, right, I've got the photos, that's good, I can easily do the listings, don't take long, a couple of minutes, da -da 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 -da, flick through listing. So, it's, it's worth checking each box do one box at a time, or one bag at a time, or one shelf at a time, shelf unit. Checking all the items there, are they listed? Have the um, listings got good, clear, precise photos? The descriptions, the titles, etc. Make them stand out. For example, I've got these. Um, this Duelist Pack collection, empty box. We sat around for two years, photos were awful, a crap. Came for this uh, J.K. Rowling, a couple of years old or a year and a half. This is the one I've got on its own for about tenner. And then the last one I found from the box, because the ones that are in here, I've got good photos and um, I listed on eBay, which was these. There, there's two in here, Batman ones, and they've been sat around for about a year and a half to two years. So it, it, it's worth double checking your listings, what um, are there, are, are they there, double checking your prices, your titles. So if it hadn't been for that guy messaging me about a couple of these books, that one and that one, I wouldn't have done any of these re-photographing, checked all the um, items and went through all my listings and checked out every one that needs doing. There's a handful more, and you wouldn't have got a great video. So let me know in the comments below, um, have you been checking out your items for, um, have they been listed, or are the photos not great, your, your titles, etc. Have any of your, your items dropped off your store, and you've found them a long time later, thinking, wow, why is it off my store? Let me know in the comments below, because I do try and reply to every comment as I can, like, share and subscribe and once again thanks for watching and take care, see you later guys